Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Ambarucci and today I'm going to show you guys how to make this two-tier unicorn cake. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and also don't forget to click down below and subscribe to my channel. To get started, I have three 8-inch vanilla cakes that I'm drizzling with some almond simple syrup and I'm going to pipe a border of vanilla buttercream around the cake and filling each cake with a cheesecake filling. Then I give this a crumb coat, let it chill, and give it a final coat of vanilla buttercream. I also have three 6 inch vanilla cakes which I'm adding on to a 6 inch cake board that has a hole cut out in the center, perfect for stacking. And I'm doing the exact same thing, I'm drizzling my cakes in almond simple syrup piping a border of vanilla buttercream and filling with a cheesecake filling. Then I'm going to give the cakes a crumb coat and a final coat of buttercream. For my 8 inch cake, I want to cover this in a pastel marbleized fondant. So what I have here is some white fondant, I have a pastel teal color fondant, a pastel purple and a pastel pink, and I'm just going to add chunks of all of these colors into my white fondant, and I'm going to knead this just a few times until I get a nice marble effect. Once I get the marble effect that I want, I'm going to roll this out with my rolling pin and I'm going to cover my 8 inch cake, which is the bigger cake tier, with this marble fondant. I use my hands and my fondant smoother to smooth the fondant around the top and sides of the cake. And then I come in with my X-Acto knife and trim off the excess fondant around the bottom perimeter of the cake. Now I'm going to add my bubble tea straws as cake supports for the top cake layer, which is the 6 inch layer that we're going to be adding on top of this 8 inch cake. Now I'm going to cover my 6 inch cake, which is the smaller cake, in white fondant. I added another bubble tea straw in the middle of the bottom cake layer, and this is going to be our support to hold both cake layers together. So I grab my 6 inch cake, which has a hole through the center of the cake board that it has under it, and I'm going to add the cake right on top of that. Here I have some of my leftover marble fondant that I use for the bottom cake layer and I've just made this into thin ropes and what I'm going to do is grab two ropes together and create a twist pattern and I'm going to use this to be the border for the bottom and top part of my cakes. Now I'm going to make the unicorn ears for the unicorn cake. So I have some white fondant and I'm just going to create a triangular shape for the ears. I have two toothpicks here which I'm going to dip the top part of in some melted white chocolate and I'm going to add these through the center of the unicorn ears and this is going to stiffen and make great supports to poke the unicorn ears on top of our cake. Now here I have some yellow fondant and I'm going to create a smaller triangle shape for the inner part of the unicorn ears. Here I have some gold luster dust which I'm going to use to paint the inner part of the unicorn ears. I'm going to use it to paint the eyes and the horn and a couple other accessories on the cake. Now this luster dust is by far the best that I've ever tried. It is very potent and it works wonderful. I got this on Amazon and I will be leaving the link down below for you guys. 
I'm just diluting this with a little bit of almond extract. If you don't like using alcohol, you can definitely use almond extract as I am or vanilla extract. So I realized after painting the yellow part of my unicorn ears gold that I wasn't even filming the entire time I was painting. So that footage isn't here. So anyways, I'm adding a bit of melted white chocolate onto my unicorn ears and I'm going to add the gold part that I painted, which is the inner part of the ear, onto here. Here I have some more of that yellow fondant and I'm just rolling out thin tubes to create the unicorn eyes. And what I'm doing is just creating a winged eyeliner effect and then I'm going to cut out some smaller tubes to add more eyelashes at the ends. And again, I'm going to use my gold luster paint to paint these gold. Now to create the unicorn horn, I have a wooden dowel here which I tried to sharpen the tip of and I mean it looks okay. I'm going to cover the top part of the dowel using a bit of melted white chocolate and I'm leaving about a quarter of it exposed because that's the part that I'm going to add into the cake. So what I have here is a yellow fondant rope and I'm twisting that around the melted chocolate and dowel and that's going to give me a nice unicorn horn effect. And I'm going to paint this using the gold luster paint. Here I have a bunch of cute pastel flowers that I made using this silicone Wilton fondant mold and I'm going to show you how I made a few of these. So here I have my pastel fondant colors. I'm using a light teal, a light purple, and a light pink. And I have this Wilton silicone mat which I got in Michaels a few years ago and it has a few flower and petal imprints that I use to make these flowers. So I'm going to show you how to make this big flower first. This is one of the flowers that I'm going to be adding on the top part of the unicorn's head. So I start by using the petal part of one of the flowers and I just simply add my fondant onto there and press to really get into the mold and then I just pull that right out. And as you can see it has the little imprint petal shape. So I make a few of these and then I put them together to form a flower petal shape. Then I'm going to use this other flower one and again I just press my fondant in there and then I pull it right out. I'm going to add this one on top of the petals that I just made. Now I have this single flower petal mold right here in the corner. And I'm just going to add my fondant onto there and press again to get that imprint. And then I just pull it out. And I have this cute little petal. And I'm going to add a few of these under the flower around so that it gives the flower this bigger petal effect. And now I'm going to show you how to make this smaller single flower. So again I'm using the petals on this flower. And I'm just going to press the fondant onto there, pull it out and I create two of these and then there's this cute little like starburst mold on there and I'm going to add my fondant onto there pull it out and I'm going to add this in the center of my flower and I poke a hole using my fondant tool in the center of each flower because I'm going to add a golden pearl in the center of all of the flowers now to create the leaves for this cake I'm using my kind of like a mint green fondant which is really a light teal but it's like a mint pastel green color and I have this leaf shape cutter and I actually got this in Hobby Lobby it was a set of three different size leaf cutters and all you do is just press this onto the fondant and it gives you this beautiful leaf imprint now I'm going to add the little golden pearls in the center of each flower so what I'm doing is just grabbing my yellow fondant 
and creating a little ball and adding it onto each flower. I make it a little bigger for the bigger flowers and smaller for the smaller flowers. And then again, I'm going to paint this using my gold luster paint. Now I'm going to add the finishing touches on the cake. So my camera actually died on me when I did this. I added the eyes onto the front center part of the cake. Now I'm going to add the unicorn ears onto the cake. And remember I added those toothpicks in the center of the unicorn ears? Well that's perfect to poke through the top of the cake. And also remember I left the bottom part of the unicorn horn exposed. That is perfect to add in the center of the cake. Now I'm going to start assembling the leaves and the flowers on top of the unicorn's head and that's going to give a beautiful flower crown effect. And I'm also going to place a few flowers around the sides of both tiers of cake. Now I wanted to give a gold leaf effect on either side of the bottom cake tier. So what I did was just grabbed my brush that I dipped in the gold luster paint and I just started dabbing it around both sides of the cake. So this is what it looked like and I felt that it looked a little too subtle. So I came in with a bigger brush and some heavier strokes and I started dabbing more paint onto there and I actually like that effect a little more and this is what it looked like I actually like it because it kind of looked like cheetah print on the sides of the cake but I felt that the sides still looked a little plain so what I did was I added a few more flowers over the gold leaf effect and I love the way that it looked and I also added the birthday girl's name in the center of the cake I hand rolled each letter and I painted it with the gold luster paint and I absolutely love the way this cake turned out. And this beautiful two-tier unicorn cake is complete. I love the marbled fondant effect in the bottom tier and I love the whole pastel color scheme going on and the pops of gold just really bring this cake to life. If you enjoyed this tutorial, give it a big thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye bye!